This is Crypto Kernels. I'm your host, Asa Kane. In this episode, we're going to revisit Decentraland and its native token, Mana, to see exactly what's happened to it since we first visited it. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the like button, which is the thumbs up icon that you see directly beneath your video playing. It helps to share our video with others just like you who are new to crypto and want to learn as much as they can so they they can begin earning money today. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, which is our icon that you see in the lower right hand corner of your video playing. It ensures that you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes of Crypto Kernels. Now, if you haven't heard about Decentraland or if you're unfamiliar with it, you can see our very first video on it, which is right here. Um, but it, it is part of the metaverse. It is a platform in which you can create, explore, and trade in the first ever virtual world owned by its users. Explore, lose yourself in an amazing, evolving world. Explore lands owned by users to experience incredible scenes and structures from a space adventure to a medieval dungeon maze to entire villages crafted from the minds of community members. Test the limits of your imagination. Create scenes, artworks, challenges, and more using the simple builder tool. Then take part in events to win prizes. The SDK provides the tools to fill the world with social games and applications. Start building, start developing. You can use these tools right now. I'm gonna leave a link to this site in the description of the video. And then here you can trade the virtual destination for digital assets, buy and sell land estates, avatar wearables, and names. Now, if you can't decide where to start, they have a list of upcoming events as well as points of interest that you can click on and go to and read about in detail here. Now, this article uh, is provided by Daily Coin, in which it states that Central Land has just launched or is launching the first ATM in the metaverse. Now, this article was written by Paula O, and this was Monday. Uh, starting tomorrow, August the 2nd, the world's first metaverse ATM will be launched on the Central Land platform in partnership with Transit Pavement Gateway and Metaverse Architect Studio. You can see here crypto ATMs in the metaverse. The Transic ATM will enable users to purchase the central land's local cryptocurrency MANA, along with any other cryptocurrency using fiat currency from directly within the metaverse. According to the creators, the ATM is intended to ease the metaverse user experience by making web 3.0 transactions resemble that of using an ATM in the real world. The solution was developed by Transit an integration that provides a fiat to crypto payment gateway. Now, the team behind the move hope that the solution will increase conversion rates in metaverse stores while also lowering the knowledge gap required to operate in Decentraland. Okay, let me show you this. Banks have already joined the metaverse. Recognizing the unbridled potential presented by the metaverse, the world's leading banks have wasted little time getting involved with the innovation. International banking giant HSBC and virtual gaming platform The Sandbox announced a partnership on March 16th. JP Morgan's expansion into virtual real estate came with the release of a white paper that explored opportunities by the development of the metaverse. The leading bank plan claims that the metaverse market could eventually generate a trillion dollars in annual revenue. On the flip side, the phenomenon of banks entering the metaverse is close related to the boom of digital real estate. However, the market is still new and in certain circumstances, even supporters have warned that there are risks to any venture. Now, why you should care, the metaverse's market value is estimated to reach as much as 947 billion by 2030 in the next eight years, $947 billion. The market is expected to increase by 5 billion between now and the next four years, 
and 1.9 billion worth of land has been sold already in the last year and a half across the top 10 platforms. Now, this article here is by Rarity Sniper News, and it was written by Chris Tepedino a couple of days ago. Chris, now the process of buying cryptocurrency can be confusing for newcomers. It is often shrouded in acronyms, changing char chart patterns, and questions about wallets. Centraland, which opened to the public in 2020, has launched the first metaverse automated teller machine. From it, you can buy mana, the Centraland's native token, and other cryptocurrencies. Here's everything we know about the development thus far. The goal of the metaverse ATM is to make purchasing cryptocurrency e easier for customers. To make the ATM, the Centraland partner with Transic and the metaverse architect studio. The metaverse, I'm sorry, the ATM will be available to parcel owners who can put them on their property. The automated teller machines may help land owners monetize experiences. These are all key things. You may want to go back and listen to it again. The developers of the Metaverse ATM wrote in a blog post that they wanted to give users a more smooth journey when visiting Web3. The ATM addition to Decentraland comes as more financial services companies are exploring the Metaverse as a means of revenue. The Metaverse makes news in 2022. Ever since Mark Zuckerberg changed Facebook's name to Meta, interest has grown. Earlier this week, Tokyo University announced that it is offering Metaverse engineering classes. The Metaverse courses will be geared to those who are university students, high school and middle school students, and adults switching careers. Earlier this week, also, Procter & Gamble shared that it had conducted an experiment in the Metaverse, and last week, MTV announced that it was adding a Best Metaverse Performance category to a slate of awards because of the number of singers now creating content in the Metaverse, including Ariana Grande and Charlie XCX. Now, if we look as of today, Saturday, August the 6th, the price per Decentraland token is a dollar and six cents per token. Its market cap is 1.9 billion, just under two billion dollars. Uh, the circulating supply is 1.8 billion mana, as we can see here. This is verified by coin market cap and the total supply is 2.1 billion. So most of the available tokens are currently already in investor hands. All right. Now, within the last month, it went from a low of 76, 77 cents per token. And now it is up close to 20%. Over the last 30 days, over the last 90 days, because of all the market volatility, it is down like everything else, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. We know this. Now, if we look here over the last year, we can see prior to that, it had just reached its all time high of $5.47 on November 24th, so nine months ago eight months ago. If we look here over the long term, ever since the token originally came out in 2017, it has grown at a tremendous rate over the long term because that's what investing is all about. It's not about the short term, it's about the long term. Bull and bear markets, if something can survive it may be worthy, but still do your own research now. If you want to get some mana tokens, you can sign up uh, through Coinbase using our link or crypto.com and you'll earn $65 in free crypto. You can also use our Binance link as well as our BitForest link to purchase mana tokens. Now, in addition to all this, you want to make sure that you protect what you ha already have and what you're getting ready to get. The only way to do so is to get your own cold storage wallet. It is never a good idea to leave your crypto on any exchange for an extended amount of time. Now, Ledger is one of the leading worldwide manufacturers of crypto cold storage wallets. They're based in France. They ship all over the world. As you can see here, they've got several models to choose from, from as low as $80 now. I'd, I'd pay triple that for mine. I mean, 
and they both do the same thing. It's just about your preference. They also have accessories now. Uh, make sure that you don't get one from eBay or Amazon. The only way to be safe is to get it through the actual retailer. Now, if this episode and this channel has been of value to you, contribute back to it by contributing any ERC20 token to our MetaMask address or Cash App. Make sure you stay tuned because this week is going to be even more explosive. Until next time, get in there and make it happen.